So for this technique, I have my gel press 12 by 12 gel plate, and I have a small 3 by 5 on the side to you know, work with for laying out my paint. Now this is the technique we're going to do. Um, so the stamping is actually from a pull that I tried to do and it didn't work, but I didn't clean my plate. so it shows up in this one. So I've been playing around with brushes and my gel plate and trying to get a look. I wanted soft, but still lots of color. Like I didn't want it to be too muted, but I didn't want it to be too bold. And I didn't want the paint splatters to be too much. So, through some trial and error, I finally found a technique that I'm liking. So to start, I thought we, and actually I may even add more to that one. So to start, we're going to take some ink. And I am going to use, let's see. going to use a Ranger Archival ink in Aquamarine. And I'm going to take this stamp, it's All in Create, and it's called Intersecting Circles. I'm not bothering to mount it on an acrylic block because I don't want perfect image. So I'm just going to ink this up and place it randomly, spacing it out. Now 
Now I'm going to do a little more than what I normally would because with these prints they're going to be cut up and I know that in advance so I can plan accordingly. So that's that one and then I'm going to take some Hickory Smoke Distress Archival Ink and I'm going to use this old favorite stamp of mine that I have no idea what it's called. <laughs> And again, I'm just going to stamp all over my gel plate. And sometimes you may have to change the angle in which you're looking at your plate in order to see it. Like I know it's quite possibly not showing up on camera. I don't know if I tilt my plate if you'll be able to see it on camera. It's hard for me to tell if you're seeing it. But trust me, it's there. <laughs> we have stamped images all around. Now we're going to wait for that to dry before we go on to the next step. So the ink has now dried. I'm going to take a Tim Holtz stencil. It's called Code. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear that. That's my husband in his workshop doing his craft, which is wood. <laughs> and it's quite noisy. So I'm just taking some white paint and I'm going to stencil some marks onto my plate. Now we're going to wait for this to dry. Okay, so the paint has dried and now I'm going to go in with some more paint colors like just as a background. So I chose three colors in the Dina Wakely media and that's Elephant, Turquoise, and Blushing. So I'm going to put some paint on my 3x5 and get some on my brayer and then put some on my plate in areas. And I did not get enough. take some blushing and the same idea. I'm just going to get some on my brayer and brayer it in areas. off my brayer and my gel plate, like my 3x5, so I don't want the colors mixed. Now I'm going in with turquoise, and I don't want to go too slow doing this because I don't want the paint to dry. 
because this one is like a final layer for paint. So that is done and now I have some Brusho mixed with water in these little containers. So I'm taking some lemon and I'm using a fan brush and I'm just tapping and getting some splatters onto my gel plate. And I'm going to clean my brush before I dip into my orange. And same thing, just some splatters. Clean my brush and then I'm getting some, what color? Emerald green. And then I just have some Recollections cardstock. And I'm laying that down right away. I'm just taking this scrap paper just so I don't get any of the brush on my hands because it does stain. <laughs> Hopefully this worked. I'm not getting all the layers. Soft, but it's not boring by any means. You're getting lots of color, and we did get some of the paint, and you can see the stamped images. So, I'm going to do one more. I see a lot of stuff already down there, so I'm not going to bother with the previous stamps and the stencil stenciling with paint or any of that because there's already a lot of that going on. I'm just going to go straight in with the paint. And this time I'm even going to try so I can work faster. I'm going to put it on my plate and see how that works. too much of the turquoise. But this one we're going to get a different look. And I'm still going to do the brush -o splatters.
I might get two prints from this one because I went a little heavy with it. right away because like I said we may get two prints. And that one's a little darker than I would have liked. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to leave this and I'm going to pull one more print and I think I'm just going to use some of the blushing and some buff. And that's Dina Wakely as well. I'm only going to do the lemon and the emerald because I find the orange is turning out kind of pinkish and I did mostly pink for the paint. So we'll try that. show there. <laughs> some variety for our colors. I think I like the lightest one the best. I thought I would just show you um, when I was done. There was still stuff left on my plate so I just added a layer of white paint, nothing else, and this is what I got. I really like it. And that's just all the things that were left over from creating these prints. So that's the final pull. We hit that one. That one. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.